Man, oh man, oh man, what a beautiful day today. I tell you, I don't know why, but whenever it rains or like slow, snow, I say it's slow. What is slow? <laughs> whenever it rains or snow, I don't know why. I just, I, I, I'm in such an awesome mood. I tell you, um, you get a lot of stuff done when it's raining or you can, or snowing, or you can get nothing done, you know, um. A lot of people like to sleep during this time and weather. But I love it, man. I love it. Um, and actually, today, I don't know what we have in store today, guys. Um, I'm up here heading in the work. sure what's going on with my camera but anyway um i am heading into work guys don't have really nothing planned i do have a um guy supposed to come out come by the shop and drop me off a um one of my cigar boxes um that's, that's another little hobby that i'm trying to get into um i've had i've had i have had several um good tar cigar boxes um people have made them over the years for me and stuff and um, this gentleman came in and said that, you know, he showed me a few of his designs that he's, he's made and stuff. So I, you know, sometimes I supply the cigar boxes to some of these artists around in this area or whatever. And, um, you know, we trade, you know, we trade up on things. So anyway, he called me last night and said that if I was um, at the shop today, he would bring me um, the one that he made for me by. And like I said, I already have several of them. And who knows, I'll probably show you guys um, in a future video. But basically, I'm not very musical inclined. My, my wife is. Um, but I would just like to learn how to make them. Um, you know, just like, um, I'm sure it can, can be that hard. But if you're not, you know, musically inclined, like I'm, I am, you know, you got to tune them and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm just going to head, head to work for... Um, most of the day anyway and then um, when I get get off work I come back and get right back into the garage I got a little project that I'm actually trying to finish up so um, we'll go ahead and head into work guys and if the gentleman bring me the the cigar box I, um, guitar I will definitely turn you guys back on so you guys can see that and if you know I, I'm pretty sure Nothing else exciting. Well, there's always something going on at the shop, but um, I will turn you guys back on if, if anything else come up. So I hope you guys have a good day, and um, hopefully you guys are getting some snow where you're at as well. So I'll turn you guys back on here in a few. Wow. God, hey, that's tight. I brought an amp and everything just to show you that it works. Let me tune it real quick. Man, that's cool. Working with this box was a bit weird, but I made it work. Oh, yeah, it's a different shape, you know what I'm saying? It's a different type of size and everything. Yeah. I like, the, I like how you did that. So, are you tuning it now? Yeah. Oh, did you carve? Did you carve the head and everything? Yeah. And press that wood together. Oh, that thing sounds good. I mean, you don't even got the amp hooked up. Well, you can play it acoustic or through an amp. There we go. I forget your name, unfortunately. Iram. Our one for you. Yeah, that's that's poplar and oak, and then the neck is made out of burned yellow pine, and then it has a piece of metal that runs all the way down it. And you and you so actually it pre and you pressed it together. Yeah. And then I 
made this. Yeah. And then the frets are all wood burned. That's I like that. And then it has like the the burned markers, and then it has the <laughs> fret dots on the side. Hey, I tell you what, I mean, you did that in a what couple of weeks too, though. I mean, you yeah, you must have been on it, man. Well, I would have had it done earlier, but I had this pickup out of a uh, '68 Les Paul. Yeah. And once I got it wired up, it wouldn't work. Really? Yeah. So. What was it? You I don't think know what's wrong with the, the pickup. I'll have to get my friend to take it apart and see if the coil's broken or something. But this is a pickup out of a 1975 Les Paul. Uh, do it, what that pickup is? Yeah. Yeah, and then this is an oak tail piece. I like, you know, that's why I has actually, did you have to shape it like that? I mean, because yeah. it's, it's actually at an angle. Yeah. It took me a while. I made one, but I didn't have the angle rod on it, so I had to make a second one. Hey, let me, you, you gonna hook it up and play it? I wanna hear, oh, yeah. I wanna. Got his amp. Okay. Now, do you do this for a living or just a hobby? Uh, right now, it's just kind of a hobby. Yeah. I mean, I don't like, most people who make these, they make big batches of them. And they won't uh, really these, be that good of quality because yeah, they're are, making 10, 20 at yeah, a time. This I is like custom. Just do one at a time. Yeah, this is custom all the way here, bro. Man, Josh can be jealous. He's the guy that worked with me. He actually plays instruments and stuff. He's going to be jealous. Have you met Josh? No. He's going to be jealous. <laughs> Let's see. Wow. Can I just slide? Now, I, I ain't going to get all professional like that now and then i found the back of it how many is that the first is that no oh, number 42 yep oh man so you made you made a few of them all yeah the last few i made were uh ukuleles yeah i mean you said you said tell them about the ukuleles but that's what it's tuned that's to that's his tune g d and g yeah so both of these are g and then this one's a d wow I'm excited. That is very clean, man. Then, no distortion. Distortion. How long have you been playing? Uh, I usually play upright bass and like electric bass, <laughs> but I started messing around with these when I started making them. See how warm the tone is? Yeah. Good. strings okay like for an electric guitar yeah but I think these these are acoustic strings I know several people that's gonna want one of these I know several people are you hey do you got a you got an email or Instagram or anything yeah what, what's the name of it? So, uh, the Instagram is Hiram Sawyer CBG and then Facebook, same thing, Hiram Sawyer CBG. I can't believe you're getting that sound out of a cigar box, man. Yeah. That's a cigar box, people. And, I mean. Uh, Hey, welcome back, crew. So, hey, I just left the shop. Um, just wanted to bring you guys with me this morning so I can show you guys that cool little um, guitar. I had uh, one of my, um, you know, customers made for me. Um, we're gonna try to get together and and make more for for the shop and 
Um, I'll probably have them probably try to you know sell you know one or two because a lot of people love little um, cool um, things that you can make with your cigar boxes and stuff and I've actually had several other um, people to actually make cigar boxes before but I tell you what this one here is in really good quality he used some uh, really good um, uh, solid and quality parts on this particular um, Solomon Unica guitar that he made for me. So, um, and hopefully I'll show you guys a lot more things like this. So now, hey, I'm about to head over here to, um, I guess they call it Keystone. Um, I think um, a lot of places have them. Um, it's like a liquidation. This is, um, or people probably know it as LKQ. Um, I think it's LKQ or LQK. I think it's LKQ. I think it's LKQ because it's a liquidation um, place. It's basically a huge, I, 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 from my understanding, they went around the country and brought out all, you know, brought out a lot of the junkyards. So that's why you don't see the junkyards and savage yards like you used to back in the 80s and 90s and stuff because um, these people teamed up and they ended up going around and buying all of buy, They bought all the parts and um, so if you need to order a part, you go to the LKQ and um, they will have it there. If they don't already have it at their facility or the hood that, you know, wherever you're at in, in the world, um, you can go in there and ask them um, if they got this part. Or you can call them. Um, I called them um, and a couple of days ago and it should be ready today. So we're going to go and see what they have over here. And um, I'll, I'll show you guys. Um, what I'm talking about, make sure that's the correct name and stuff. They got trucks all over the place and stuff. So, anyway, hey, I'll tell you guys about going and hey, who knows? Ho hopefully, we'll get back into the shop sometime this evening. So, I just want to make this a quick video just to show you that little um, gadget that I got. Um, you know, I'm glad he did bring it in, so I thought that was pretty cool. So, hopefully, we'll get back in the garage this evening. All right, so, we're about to pull up here. So I was right, it's called LKQ, OEM Recycle Aftermarket by Keystone. So let's see if I can find me a parking space somewhere up in here. I may have to park my way back here. All right, so that turned out good. Um, man, I tell you what, I, I went over there and I, I just forgot that they do so much stuff, you know, as far as uh, paint supplies. You know, I haven't been over here in a while um, and I don't know why I always forget about them because they got everything you could possibly think of and want. Um, I was looking for like just some seats, which they did have some seats. Oh, I should have took a, I didn't even take a picture of the Dagon seats for you guys. I'm sorry. But the seats came out of a, um, 2011, uh, Ford Fusion, which, uh, they, I already got some seats that look just like that, except with a different color, but they're like, to me, they're just a little bit too heavy, and they're kind of too tall. The back of them are too tall, but um, they had the seats and everything, which I didn't get them. And that's one cool thing about it, you know. They have it delivered here and everything, and you know, you can come. And I don't know if they, you know, because I know the ladies, and I don't know if they do that, and because they just know me and stuff. But the women there are so sweet, man. They take care of me. Um, but anyway, and they had a console and a shifter, which you can see back there, which I got. Okay. You can never have too many of that stuff, okay? Um, and I found out that they actually have transmissions for foil 80s and foil 60E and even motors. I'm like, now they are maybe about, I say for what I normally get them for, I say they're about $200 more than what I normally get them for. But man, that's, I mean, that's awesome. I mean, if I ever, you know, because it's getting harder and harder to find these foil 60s and foil 80s, I mean, you know, just, you know, paying an extra $200 is, is probably worth it. So, hey, I'm excited, man. You know, we got to get our day started great, man, you know, real early and stuff, but um, everything is, is going good so far. So, we're going to go ahead and go back to the house, talk to you guys in a minute. 